Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Chris Mohan here. Uh, so you might notice that I am uh, at the moment not doing a video that I would normally do on a daily basis where we uh, talk about uh, some kind of interesting uh, history of the labor movement, uh, political history, or current events news. Uh, you know, something that I think is important that we should talk about, that we should know about, uh, that we can take part in or engage in. Those are, I feel like I kind of covered all the things that I, <laughs> that I normally talk about in these videos. Um, and that is because I am uh, gonna, taking the day to uh, do as much writing as I possibly can. I've, I have a lot more writing to do um, these last couple of weeks than uh, I've had during the, during the time of the, of the great quarantining that we're in uh and but but guys don't call it that uh i don't <laughs> i don't like that i called it that uh but uh you know um i wanted to take this opportunity to um showcase the uh environment that i work out of uh i've kind of wanted to do that for a little bit because I, I sit in one little corner and that's mostly what you guys see so i thought maybe it'd be cool to kind of take a trip around this small modest little space that i occupy uh, right now to create these daily videos um, and uh, and you know this will be a quick short little little video in, in regards to that um, because yeah like I said I've, I've got a lot of uh, uh, a writing and preparation to do because on Friday I am going to be doing a uh, virtual live stand-up comedy show and uh, this is going to be the first of a, of a series of comedy shows uh, May 8th is the first one. May 22nd is the next one. They're five bucks. You got to get those tickets because that's how I'm going to be able to get you all the login information uh, for Zoom because that way we'll prevent any sort of unwanted visitors in the um, in the Zoom showroom, the virtual showroom that we are creating. So, um, yeah, I'm doing a lot of writing for that. I'm doing a lot of writing for uh, Forkful. So I'm going to try to make as many videos as I can this week, but it's really going to depend on um, what uh, what writing I can get done because I'm, I'm doing the writing for this show. I'm doing the writing for Forkful, and I'm also doing the writing for this week's Taboo Table Talk as well. So uh, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things coming up. Um, so I got my plate pretty full and I've kind of been reevaluating how much I want to, uh, or rather how often I want to do those daily videos. So that's why they've kind of been in flux. Uh, I did them pretty regularly for about eight weeks. And then now that I'm adding more things to my plate, um, you know, it's more about regulating and making sure that I'm compartmentalizing the information in the, in the tasks that I have, uh, appropriately. Um, because I will say the last couple of days I've been, I've been, I've been getting feelings of over, overwhelmed, uh, overwhelmingness, if that's a word, uh, because of, you know, just the, the, the general state of things. So, um, you know, by adding more to my plate and I'm, you know, I, I th this is sort of a constant struggle for me and, in, and, in, in everything that I do is adding more to my plate and then trying to manage all of those things <laughs> to the best of my ability. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do, um, trying to take it day by day. So today I decided that it would be, I, I woke up a little bit later than what I wanted to, and I had a really tough time waking up. Um, I was really, really tired. And I think part of that is from the, the, the feelings of anxiety and overwhelmed feelings that I get. Um, and it's just general anxiety stuff where I have a hard time compartmentalizing some stuff and I get scatterbrained. Um, and then I get stressed out about it. So I'm trying to take things slow, trying to, just trying to be good about it. So I figured doing this video, kind of showing you guys what my environment looks like, uh, would be kind of neat. Uh, so let me see if I can make this work here. All right. So we are going to start by the door. This is the, this is the, this is what's happening behind my door. I hang up all my stuff here. This is my hat. Uh, the, the, the mistake hat that I have. Uh, this is, what's funny about this hat is, uh, a lot of people think like it's an anti-Trump hat. It's super not an anti-Trump hat, you guys. It's just a hat that says the word mistake over and over again. And I think that's kind of hilarious, uh, because I've made mistakes a whole bunch of my life, right? And it's just like the word mistake reprinted over and over again to me is very, very funny. Um, so I, I find that very entertaining, but people like to think that it's an anti-Trump hat and it's kind of, that's also kind of funny to me. 
Um, there's the robe. Uh, it, this all gets hung up on the back of my door. Uh, I have this old ratty t-shirt that I try to like go walking and exercising in because uh, I'll get you know that that way it's just an old ratty t-shirt like i'm using it's like a gym shirt you can see there's some holes in it <laughs> that are coming up i've had this t-shirt for like over a decade and it's pretty cool um so over here i have as you might know that i've been um, exercising a whole lot more we're getting back into exercising really uh so i got an exercise ball and this is a yoga mat that uh, my friend jared bloomer got me and it's very, very useful because it helps stabilize the exercise ball. Not just that, but it's also good for like stretching and um, doing like floor exercises, body weight exercises, and I don't have to like hurt my back. So it's this is this is a pretty cool thing um, that I got. It was like 15 bucks or something like that. So if you're looking for an exercise ball, they're pretty good. They're pretty solid. Um, closet. This is mostly uh, where I've hung up. This is like jackets and shit. Uh, where I don't even know if you can really see that, but I have been trying to um, get my suit jackets refitted, and I and I can. The only problem is, um, well, no one nobody's open right now, and two, uh, you know, it was it was a lot more feasible when I was making a lot more regular of an income, <laughs> but that's uh, currently not happening. Um, so here I've kind of set up a little little area uh for all of like the i don't know i don't even know what like cosmetic stuff that's a word for it yeah so there's some there's some body lotion but this is the cooler stuff um i i have a friend that makes this stuff so this is a handmade deodorant that i've been using it's sandalwood uh made by essence of earth which i highly highly recommend people get uh if they're looking for like um you know, handmade, uh, non-toxic organic stuff. She makes great stuff. This is really, really good. Uh, I really like it. Uh, she also has made this, uh, this is my chapstick that I'm currently using. So this is also made by Essence of Earth. And I've been using magnesium cream for whenever my muscles get really stiff. If I have like a really intense workout or if I try something new and different and I get super sore the next day, this magnesium cream is really helpful. Um, it takes a minute to just work, but if you just rub that on, uh, it's great. And all this stuff is like, it's made with natural stuff. It's not, you know, and this is pomade for my hair. Um, I don't particularly use it anymore because my hair is so long. Um, I use, uh, I use the beard oil I'm about to show you guys, but uh, that is, this is Essence of Earth's pomade. There's very little of this left. And uh, once, once I do end up cutting my hair, I will uh, probably uh, get another vial of it. This is something that's kind of neat. I've used this a little bit. It's, it's Headache Helper. And honestly, it's just, it smells really good. Um, it's just like scented essential oil. And it smells really good. And I kind of put it on my, uh, on my head and stuff. And it, uh, it, it just, the, the scent of it is pretty soothing. Um, olfactory senses are like good for, like they help you with your memory and stuff. But I usually put that on and uh, wrap a, a, a little thing around my eyes, a little uh, scarf around my eyes. And uh, if I need to take a nap for 15, 20 minutes, that, that really helps kind of get my head back into it whenever I get those stress migraines. Um, so this is what I use for my hair. It is from Five Natural Monkeys in Hanover, uh, Pennsylvania. Um, Jim Bryan's wife, well, Jim Jim Bryan's wife makes this stuff, uh, Tara. And uh, it's this is super great, uh, by the way. I've been using this for almost a year, and I still have like a good, what, like quarter of this thing left. Um, you, use a, you use a little bit, and it goes a long way, which is why I have a quarter of it left. Uh, but I'm going to need to restock on it. So I'll probably end up having to restock on this in the next month or two. I'll probably have to restock on a couple things in the next month or two. Uh, but that's what I use for my hair and my beard right now. And I got some ibuprofen and a couple of cleaning stuff here just to, um, just to do it. So yonder is the bed. This is I don't normally make my bed, but I decided I should probably should uh, for this thing. Uh, just to make it appear that I'm a... <laughs> Like, not a, you know, gross person, I guess. 
but I have I do have some bedside snacks over here. I, I like to use these jars for water. That's fun. Uh, there that's an old uh, salsa jar that I'm using for water. And uh, over here, I got some tea and some emergency. My friend Kat, uh, she got the emergency. She's also a patron. Uh, super, super awesome of her. Uh, she sends care packages a bunch, which is uh, super sweet. Um, and uh, so that was in the care packages. So I've been drinking those. Uh, I think some of you might have seen me drink those in some of the videos. And over here, we got some honey roasted peanuts. We have... Uh, two and a half pounds of honey roasted peanuts uh, from the old Costco's uh, back when I was on the road. I think like th that's lasted me like two months already, which is crazy because uh, I snack on them in, in bed right before I go to sleep, which is helpful because then I don't eat a shit ton um, right before I go to bed. And uh, by the way, I've had this mattress since I was like in college, this comforter, I should say, I've had since I was in college. Uh, that's the TV. I don't, this is my, technically this is my mom's TV and I've had, uh, my co old computer connected to it and it's being guarded by, by Spider-Man. There he is. There's the old Spider-Man guarding the, the laptop. And I watch, this is how I watch, uh, my, my shows and I can kind of move this if I'm, you know, doing like social media posts and stuff, I can move it over and tilt it so I can watch it from my little computer workstation area here uh, but this is a super old computer by the way uh, the the only thing that at this point it's good for is watching Netflix <laughs> like that's that's really all it's become good for uh, so that's what I do and I have it connected by this this thing right here uh, this guy Sai Baba he is a Indian um, kind of like an Indian saint I guess uh, over here are my dumbbells I, I've been using these pretty regularly uh, and that's a very old stool that's been around for a long time. Um, so you guys might recognize this from the very first time that I started doing these road reflections at my parents' place is, uh, the plants. And these are not my plants. These are my mom's plants. Uh, and I am virtually not allowed to do much to them. And I, and I really don't, uh, every so often, like I'll water them. If she's got like an early, early shift or something, I'll try to water these plants. Uh, but she grows them. There's a bunch more in the kitchen and there's a couple outside she took a bunch of them outside as well uh but they're growing up pretty nice these are this is the new one that she's got and she just added uh the stick to it so that it doesn't you know uh fall over uh but this is what you guys are probably more familiar with which is my my desk and my workstation i got these stickers <laughs> on my monitor and on the back of my computer um got this get organized the pm press sticker i got a tulsi sticker a dory cameron she's a great musician that's currently in boston right now and i got some llamas rocking some llamas and again my friend cat got these stickers for me so same thing on the back of these uh this this monitor here uh i just think the llamas are funny they're they're hilarious and kind of adorable and of course i got a triple a not to brag, but I'm a AAA member. Uh, so, and over here, you can see this little gnome, car keys. And this is uh, Wiseacre Cold Brew. That is uh, a brewery in Memphis. And every time I go to Memphis, uh, Brian, Brian Katrina Coleman's husband will get me a four pack of this. So I still have one more left for a rainy day. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that, the, the rainiest of rainy days uh, to, to get that cold brew. I sip on that cold brew all day. That one cold brew will last me all day, which is kind of great. Uh, and then this over here is my money plant. This is the thing. This is my plant. And if you see, it's kind of um, the roots are in the water. And you just change out. You just pull the plant out very gently and change that water out every, like, one or two weeks. So... I just got that on my table, and uh, I'll probably change out the water next week. Got some snacks, more jars on the table here. Uh, that's Gur for any Invaders M fans. My sister got me this. She got these three kind of mystery Invaders M toys, and all three of us, my sister, my brother-in-law, and myself, wound up uh, getting this Gur toy. So we all have one. There are these little little 
<laughs> noise makey guns that my friend Kat got me as well. Uh, and here's the workstation. So I've got my computer and I've got this monitor connected. Um, so as some of you might know, I have been having some issues with my eyeballs by uh, looking at this screen a little too much. And this screen is, is kind of smaller and the font was a little smaller. So having things up on this screen, it gives me a little bit more distance. It's a little bit further away. And then uh, it um, it's also bigger. So like my eyes don't have to strain as much. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much what my workstation looks like. I've got my color pencils and my markers and my drawing pencils here. I've got some sketchbooks here. I've got my people's history, which I have not been able to read in uh, quite some time since like January, I think. And my sister just got me <laughs> this book. Uh, it's, it's about the Jedi faith. Uh, it's just called, or, or the Jedi path is what it's called. Um, so, uh, over here is what I'm doing for my bonus disc for the album. Those are some, some of the shows I want to use. And here's my sketchbook that I'm currently working on. It's got a couple drawings in it that I can kind of show you guys. This is, this one's super old. This one's from, um, last year. Actually, a lot of these are from last year. And uh, I'm going to try to add these to... I have a t-shirt shop. Uh, and I'm going to try to add these to the t-shirt shop. There's the Citizen Revolution drawing. The original drawing for that. And then these are some drawings that I made for the storytelling show I just did. Um, so I've got a bunch of those and I'm going to be doing more of those for this, uh, zoom comedy show that's coming up on Friday. And let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have this, uh, the, this is my new notebook that I've taken all my notes in, uh, for, you know, all the, all the stuff that's going on, um, all the stuff that's going on. Whenever I do those videos, like this is where I take all my notes, like, and I take pretty comprehensive notes, uh, despite what some people might think. Uh, <laughs> more, on, I'll talk about that later. Um, so, and this is the the patio here. But I wanted to show you guys this. So my aunt actually made these, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's Krishna, and that's Hanuman, and she makes these little glass paintings, which is pretty rad. Um, we got a couple of those. My, this, these are my mom's. She sent those over to my mom. I think one of them is for her birthday. Yeah, this one's for my mom's 50th birthday. The Krishna was for my mom's 50th birthday, which is really neat. Uh, this is another random ass toy that my sister got me. Uh, I've never seen Frozen. I know this, this person is from Frozen, but I've never seen that cinema, but my sister thought it was hilarious. Actually, I think my brother-in-law thought it was hilarious. So uh, there's that. Uh, and here is, this is like one of the, I, I don't know where this toy came from, but I found them in my parents' storage. Uh, and I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I have this, this Spider-Man toy kind of hanging up in the backdrop there. And, uh, and you can see his, his fingers, let me see if this will tell me to focus, his fingers move. So you can position his fingers. Like, this is a pretty advanced action figure in my opinion. Um, like they're like the torso moves, the head swivels around, the shoulder it, it can move in the 360 manner. Like this is a pretty advanced toy. Um, and over here is this is one of the first I think like prints I ever made. So my art teacher in high school. I mean all, all the stuff that I'm well, most of the art that I'm going to show you guys is mine, and I'll talk about the ones that isn't. But when I was in high school. My uh, teacher made these, <laughs> helped us make these like weird uh, tie-dye things. Um, I can't remember how we did them, but it was like a real, I remember it being like this really cool process that I was enamored with. So I made a bunch of these and I have a bunch of these prints somewhere in, uh, in my parents' storage. So this is... Um, a bunch of drawings. So I made these drawings because I was reading this book called Spider-Man Goblin Moon. 
And I think the story is that the Green Goblin like frames Peter frames Spider Man and Peter Parker has to prove his innocence and then there's this huge epic battle scene at the very end of the end of the story, uh, in like some abandoned warehouse or something. But uh so these are different drawings from different chapters. And so I hand drew them and then I used like ink. Uh, to go over them and make them posterized, which is that's the process. It's called posterization. And then I transferred it and then we learned how to make it into like a screen and then we screen printed it on these different things. So um, there's a bunch of these and this one this one just came out really nice and I, and I like the colors of the uh, the paper there. So I wanted to have that on my backdrop. Now, over yonder, uh, by the way, I made this when I was like 16 or something along those lines. Like, I think the same year that I started doing stand up. Uh, so, and over here is something I made when I was like way younger. Uh, this is, this is a, as you can see, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. <laughs> uh, that's what this is. And I am, uh, I'm a pretty big Dragon Ball Z fan. Uh, mostly at this point for nostalgia's sake, I have a lot of problems with the storyline and the way that they dealt with Goku as a character and kind of made him like, I don't know, they just kind of made him not be able to fail and that's not like fun as a character. Uh, but I've always enjoyed Vegeta's character. There, there seems to be like more growth in his character, especially over the last couple of years. Uh, so I'm a big Dragon Ball Z nerd. So I used to draw a bunch of Dragon Ball Z characters all the time and I would use color pencil and this one's a little bit of a mixed media thing because it's marker on the outlines and simple color pencil on the inside um, and you can see their Saiyan aura around them which is very cool uh, and so these are the ones that I didn't make so this one here these flowers were actually drawn by my high school art teacher and I spent years trying to emulate this style um, and I was never successful at it um, but I've but what's cool is like I've made I, I, you can definitely see like I'm influenced by this style uh, a lot in the in the drawings that I do with those bold marker outlines and using like color whether it's color penciled I think he did these with watercolor and I just really really like this style and uh, when he made this, he like randomly did this. He liked it. Did he just kind of like did it to show people like what you can do with watercolors and like different brush styles and stuff. And uh, and then I just asked him for it, um, and he gave it to me. And I, and I was like, like this is one of my favorite pieces ever. Um, I just I just really love the style and the color. Like there's a, a sense of tranquility to this. That and you know the bold edges. Um, that really bring the color forward. Uh, the the bold edges and the and the uh, kind of the muted colors work really well together, and I've always been attracted to that. So my 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 old art teacher Mark Barzan did did this piece there, um, and I've like this is seriously one of my favorite art pieces uh, of ever. And over here, this was drawn by Ian in Molina, Illinois, in the Quad Cities when I was on stage. Uh, March 12th, which was one of the last shows that I did on the most recent tour. That's a, 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 a portrait of me and I, and I really like it. Like it's super, it's super accurate and like really well done. Um, and down here is another one of my favorite pieces uh, done by one Mr. Rob Crean. And it is a whale uh, and it's, it's shooting water and it's holding up a cat. I mean, I feel like it speaks for itself. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Rob's, Rob's an incredibly funny comedian uh, that I enjoy a lot. And he is an incredibly nice human being as well. And I've stayed at his house for multiple days and hung out with him. And um, he always makes sure that, you know, I'm, I'm basically well taken care of in, uh, while I'm in Boston with not just a show but a place to stay and also, like, things to do. So he'll, he, like, hung out and took me to a show and I met some comics and we, you know, bullshitted and hung out there. So, uh, yeah, so that's that's the backdrop right now. And I'll probably end up adding 
a few more things as I find them to this backdrop because I really like having a backdrop. But uh, yeah, that's the little workstation. Over here is another little side table. That's my grandfather uh, over here. He passed away well before I was born, but my mom says sometimes I act like him, which is weird, but that's cool. Uh, yeah, so that's a little quick tour of, uh, of the little humble space that I, uh, that I occupy. Boom. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, this little tour. Um, I, I figured I would give you guys a, a short tour of, of the space that I am currently, uh, occupying. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's small, it's modest, but it, uh, it works. Uh, there's stuff underneath the desk that I feel like I didn't have to show you guys like a book bag and a pile of fucking breakfast bars in a bag and <laughs> some other tech stuff that I can show you guys later um, when when I am you know doing other shit and I'm like oh, I guess I'll just make a video and and talk about more personal things rather than more philosophical and political things but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you did, make sure you hit the like, make sure you're subscribed. You can share this video as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll be back doing more videos and more content. Uh, there's a lot more content to come. Um, for sure. There's a lot more content to come. Uh, working on this show, make sure you buy tickets. Uh, tickets are only five bucks. Sustaining members get them for free. There's a code and you get it for free by being a sustaining member. Uh, so you can become a sustaining member directly on the website or uh, via Patreon. But if you go to ramennoodlescomedy.com, that is a way that uh, you basically find all my stuff and become a sustaining member. And um, tickets are $5. Uh, going through the link is how you're going to get the Zoom um, login details an hour before showtime. And, oh, if you um, are having a particularly tough time right now uh you're in a particularly precarious situation uh please reach out to me and i will get you a free ticket to to the show there are limited amounts of uh free tickets that i can give out so that i'm not uh, basically i just have to be, be concerned about how many people are present in that zoom virtual showroom um so that it doesn't like s slow down the feed or um make things like glitchy uh on on the feed so I'm, I'm trying to limit the amount of tickets that are being sold and the amount of people that can uh you know get free tickets right now but i'm going to be doing a bunch of them um virtually every friday at 9 p.m uh going forward so and each show is going to be different each show is going to be uh, a little different. There's going to be some commonalities, uh, but I'm breaking them into like these little different segments. Uh, so they might be more current events, more historical anecdotes, more talking about uh, strikes and movements and things of that sort. Um, so there is a, a little bit of a level of an educational component, but that should, I mean, that should like literally not surprise fucking anybody. <laughs> because uh, virtually everything that I've done has an educational component to it. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a, this is a short little video uh, where I talk about, where I just gave you guys a little tour about where, where I'm at. So you guys have a little bit of an understanding of, uh, you know, the things that I'm coming from. So, like I said, uh, you, can, um, you can make a donation if you would like to. You can buy those tickets if you would like to. Uh, but everything it, from past videos to um to to my podcasts to stand-up comedy to to my albums i've got another album coming out um to uh making donations all of those things are available on my website which is ramennoodlescomedy.com that's r-a-m-a-n noodlescomedy.com uh, and, uh, I hope to see you guys at these live shows. I hope to see you guys in these, uh, in these chats for the videos that I'm doing. I really enjoy doing these. Uh, they're fun. I get to hang out with some people. We get to chit chat a little bit. Um, and usually it's, usually it's pretty pleasant. Every so often I have to be like, Hey, don't be a dick. 
you know like we're we're not here to be dicks we're we're this this the whole point of this is to have um you know good common discourse amongst each other uh so that we can we can learn we can grow and we can expand our uh our collective consciousness uh <laughs> or that is that is the hope through these videos so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys got something out of it uh until the next time we'll see you in the road adios